about and I've been thinking of you. Hey guys, thank you for joining me again on Amy Lee Online. In this edition, I'm going to show you how to make an image on a transparent background for your graphic designers, um, for their for your work on your websites or your business cards, flyers, um, anywhere that you need to put an image that doesn't require a background. You just do such a simple technique and once you see how easy this is, you're going to laugh. It is simple, easy, but it does take a little bit of a steady hand. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up a new, your image that you want to work on, open up a new layer, uh, a new image and name it. We want to make sure it's a transparent image, make sure it's exactly the same size as the image that you're going to be cutting the portrait out from and make sure it's either landscape or um, portrait. Keep it sRGB square pixels and a transparent background and click OK. Okay so we've got that to work on in a second. We want to go and get our magnetic lasso tool and we just want to click once at the beginning of the image where we're going to cut out and we want to click that once and follow that around. Sorry my a little bit touchy. Okay so I'm going to click at the base of the image here and I'm going to work my way all the way around with my magnetic lasso tool. Now you only have to click it once, you don't have to hold the button down on the mouse um, and if you're using a tablet you only need to hold the pen down gently and it will follow it around for you and magnetically lasso against the dark area that you want to cut out. When you're going around here on a white background, you're not going to, it's not going to recognize the blonde hair to stick to, so you want to go around the outside quite broadly. That way you can make sure that you can you know, work on this a bit later and I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So then just go back around the ear line and around the hair and as you can see it's not grabbing the hair very well there. So I'm just going to gently go around the neck here. Okay. When you get to the hairline, just click the mouse once so it holds it there and it doesn't grab the hairline and then you can go around the outside to where it, however far out of that, apart, away from the hairline that you would like and just follow it all the way around the, uh, the portrait again. Click again here and then go right along the bottom and click again at the end. Now double click here at the end when you're joining them up, otherwise it'll keep going. And then once you double click, you'll get the dotted lines that are moving and you want to copy that, edit and copy, sorry. And then we go back up to edit and paste, we paste that image on our transparent layer. Drag it down into place and then we want to zoom in a little bit. Now we want to go and grab our lasso tool, not the magnetic tool, our lasso tool, we want to grab the normal lasso tool and I'm going to go around the hairline and neatly cut away that white background. So edit and then cut. We're not pasting again so we're just going to keep cutting. We're just going to keep going until we get a beautiful neat hairline. And just check over the image if there's anywhere that you may have missed. I can see a spot here so I'm just going to quickly go around this and get rid of it because it will show up when you put the PNG file on top of any other background later on. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Looks like it's all nice and flush. So now I want to go and save that normally and I save that in my files as a um, PNG file in into my folder and I'm tagging it because I'm using Mavericks on the Mac so I'm tagging my work so I can easily find this folder. Now what I want to do is I want to take this again and save it as save it for web. So I go to the file and then save for web and this will save it for as a as a proper PNG file so that you can um, definitely use this on any kind of graphics that you need to where if it's a website, your business cards, brochures, all sorts of things. So we just want to go and, and make sure that we've got PNG24 selected where it says preset on the right hand side. You want to go up there and also um, change that to a PNG file. Now obviously your file is going to be huge so 
when you bring it into this so you want to make sure that you um, can see it so you know what you're doing so just control or command minus to make this file in uh, this image smaller or you can go over to the left hand side the plus and minus sign, sign down there that says 12.5 percent and you can go up and down in your sizes there and so that once that's changed to PNG we want to make sure that the preview says international standard RGB copyright and contact info is in there you've left it the current size it is which is the full size of the TIFF size bicubic smoother make sure it's bicubic smoother 100% copyright and contact info is in there and then just hit save We don't want to save it as a HTML, we do want to save it as an image. Okay, so PNG, you want to make sure PNG is on the end of your file. Now don't worry about the way the image looks in this because it doesn't look like that normally. It's just because it's such a large file that it is reading it in a little bit of a blurry way, but don't worry about that. The pixels are just really big. Okay, so we're back in Photoshop and we've got our image just saved as that. And we want to go here and we're going to save it as a Photoshop EPS as well and tag it yellow for my that's my preference you don't have to tag it yellow um, but yeah we want to make sure we've got an EPS file as well because we might get asked for that a Photoshop EPS so just leave all of these settings as they are and click OK now, if I X out of here, I want to make sure I've saved it as a Photoshop file as well. So I'm going to save it as a Photoshop, as a PSD, and just click Save. So I want to click out of here, and I want to open it up just to make sure it is what I've saved it as, like, so I can show you. Now, in your folder, if you have a browser, like if you have it open this way, it will say it will look like it's on a white background but it's not so go to the PNG file that you've just created for me it's this one and open it up double click to open or click on it and click open and there you have it so I will show you by now I would like to resize this image so that it's ready for web I like my images to be nice and big when I'm sending them to my clients they can change the resolution if they like but I start the resolution at 300 dpi and I'm going to put my longest side at 1600 pixels so that's great for uploading to email for your graphic artist or emails to your website creator or if you're going to drop it into your website or your business cards yourself or your flyers or yourself that's a great size there you can resize this as much as many times as you like as long as you keep it at 300 DPI when you're resizing to keep it nice and sharp and there's your difference so I'll just uh, step backward on this one and show you the image and how we've cut it out so it's perfectly the same as the other image we've just taken away our background and made it a PNG file so that we can put it on our websites thanks guys for watching now remember to like share and favorite this video your support is greatly appreciated please feel free to share it amongst your friends embed it on your blog whatever you'd like to do and make sure you subscribe as well for all the notifications of my upcoming videos and tutorials on business advice photography tips Photoshop and Lightroom technique thanks again and remember do what you love and love what you do I'm Amy Lee from Amy Lee online and I'd love to see you again here next time. Bye for now.